This is a video on how to name alkenes, which are double bonds in alkanes. They're probably the one of the harder ones to learn how to name, which kind of sucks. So, let's jump right into it and... Get one of these things. Alright, so what are we going to name this? Again, same as the alkanes, you're going to want to count your carbons. So we're going to have seven carbons in our longest chain. So now we have seven carbons. We see that seven is a heptene. Not a heptane. If it was an alkane, it would be ane. But since it's an alkene, it's heptene. Um, that's how you distinguish alkenes, is you drop the ane, you put the e in. Okay. So, um, and then we have to number where our alkene is. So, we see it starts on the second carbon, so this is going to be 2-heptene, which is um, what you'd call it normally. It, you can also call it hept-2-ene, but, I don't know, I don't like that way. Let's stick with the first way. This is 2-heptene. But, like I said, the other way is also correct. So, let's draw another structure. And, uh, let's keep it short. Alright, so, there's that. Oh, we have another one over there. Okay, so again, start numbering this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven. So again, this is a heptene. So um, we're going to add that number where our heptenes are. So this is a, um, a two and a four heptene. So we have two four heptene is what this is called. Oh, but wait, there are two alkene groups. So it's not just a heptene; it's heptdiene. Except, we're going to throw an A in here, so it's heptadiene. Basically, when you're naming things, and if something doesn't sound right, like, you can't have a T and a D next to each other, normally. That just sounds kind of stupid. So, instead of saying heptadiene, we throw an A in, and it's heptadiene. Okay. Uh, as you might notice, these two here don't have cis or trans in them, which is important, but I'll get to that later. So, for now, let's move on to... Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's go on to cis and trans. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, cis and trans. What is cis and what is trans? So, here is, or I guess here are, two molecules. So, let's name each of these the way we did previously. So, okay, let's number it from the, lo from the longest carbon chain. Three, four, five. So, we're going to call this two pentene. Okay, let's number this one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to want to call this one two pentene. Okay, so that's great. So both of these are the same thing, but they kind of look different. So we have to distinguish among, among them. So a way you can distinguish is... Actually, wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm going to draw one more structure in here. Let's say we have... this. Alright. So... Number it. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have a substituent up here. 
which we know is a methyl group. So we're going to call this 2-methyl 2-pentene. Um, All right, so now some of these are cis, some of them are trans, some of them are none. How do we just determine which one? All right, so let's blow the double bands up. Every one of these. So this one kind of looks like this. R signifies you have a carbon chain. So just some number of carbon chains. All right, so this is what this double bond looks like. Um, we know, of course, that there are two hydrogens here because carbon always has to have four bonds and without this hydrogen it would only have two to this carbon and one to the R group so it has to have another hydrogen. Alright, so this is a little bit tricky naming cis and trans. Something you can do is draw a line right through the double bond and then draw another line dash line uh, perpendicular to that right in the middle. Okay, so now on either side of the dash line you want to identify which group is heavier. So the R group is heavier over on this side and over here the R group is heavier over on this side. So draw a line containing your two heaviest groups, if it crosses the solid green line, you call it a trans. So, in fact, this one's name will be trans to pentene. Okay, that's not too bad. So, oh boy. Okay, let's blow this one up. So, this one looks like this. And then we have some other carbon chain. We have a CH3, which some other carbon chain. We're going to have a hydrogen. And you're going to have a hydrogen. All right, so again, let's draw in our line right across the double bond, then perpendicular. Yeah, I don't do that too big. So right across the double bond, perpendicular to the double bond, and then identify your heaviest group on either side of the dashed line. So the R is always heavier than the hydrogen. And so you're going by heaviest. So if you had like um, like a bromine here instead, the bromine would be heavier and take precedence over your carbon chain. Okay, so anyways, we have our two heaviest groups. Connect them. We see that unlike here, where it crossed the solid green line, this one doesn't cross the solid green line. And when it doesn't do that, we call it cis. So this molecule here will be called cis-2-pentene. Okay, so that's great, but what about this last one? This one here is a little bit trickier, so let's pull this one down and blow it up. So here we have a CH3 a CH3 um, double bond. This goes to an R group, which is just the rest of the carbon chain. And then there's a hydrogen up here. Okay, so again, I'm going to draw a line right through the middle. Ugh. So there's right through the middle dash line 
here, and we're going to identify what the longest group is, or largest, heaviest group on either side. So on this side of the dash line, this R group is the heaviest. On this side of the dash line, they're both the same. So what do you do then? Well, you don't do anything. You scratch this, and it's neither cis nor trans, it's just 2-methyl, two 2-pentene. Two okay, cool. Oh no, I drew all that on the background.